I'm Charles Bennett. Can you outsmart me? I don't think so. Our first contestant is Tony from Whittier, California. He is a medical staff coordinator and attended some lame junior college. Our second contestant is Samara from Mission Viejo, California. She is an actress with a Bachelor of Arts in Theater from the University of California, Los Angeles. Our third contestant is Tristan from San Francisco, California, originally from Sydney, Australia. He has a Bachelor's of Science in Computer Engineering from the University of California, Irvine, a Master's of Science in Computer Engineering from Carnegie Mellon, and is a Senior Embedded Colonel Engineer. And your host, Charles Bennett, graduated valedictorian from Whittier High School, graduated cum laude from Occidental College with a Bachelor's in History, and graduated with a Master's in Public Policy from the University of Southern California. Hello and welcome to Outsmart Charles Bennett. I'm Charles Bennett, and tonight, three contestants will see if they can outsmart me. Let's review the rules. At the beginning of this round, the challenger round, eight categories will be revealed. And uh, they are worth anywhere from five to 15 points. Until we get to the last two rounds, once you hear this sound, uh, all categories will be worth double points. So there are 300 points possible this round. Let's take a look at tonight's categories. Rivers of America, Mexican soccer teams, Lost Your Religion, These Founders Can Find It For You, The Amazing Race, Literal Colors, Prozac Nation, Two Letter Words, and finally, Dead white guys. Tony, you uh, you had the high roll in the icosahedra. Where do we go first? I will take uh, Lost Your Religion, I guess. Okay, first question, Joseph Smith. <laughs> All right, Samara. Uh, what is the Church of Latter-day Saints? Correct. Next one. John Wesley. Tony. What is Methodist? Correct. And finally, George Fox. Samara. What is the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster? <laughs> no! Anyone else? Do you lose points for wrong answers? What is the Religious Society of Friends or Quakerism? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So where do we go next? Dead white guys. Okay. First question. This man wanted to be remembered not for being our third president, but for writing the Virginia Statute of Religious Freedom and founding a university. Thomas Jefferson. That's correct. This German mathematician and astronomer concluded that planets have elliptical orbits. Who is Johannes Kepler? That's correct. And finally, this person was both the only Catholic to sign the Declaration of Independence and the signer who lived the longest. Charles Carroll of Carrollton. Correctly, where do we go next? How about literal colors? Literal colors. <laughs> this is the color of the titular whale in Moby Dick. White. That's correct. In the book, The Great Gatsby, this is the color of the light on Daisy's dog. Tristan. Oh, finally. <laughs> green. What is green? This is the color of the titular fern in a story about hound dogs. Samara. Red. That's correct. Where do we go next? Uh, two letter words. Two letter words. This word can be French for of or the postal abbreviation of both Delaware and Germany. What is de, de? That is correct. Of the three conjunctions mentioned in Conjunction Junction, the only one that fits the category. Or. That's correct. 
And finally, this Japanese word can mean blue or green. Um, how about the amazing race? The amazing race. First question. This is the most common ethnicity in Los Angeles, Cal MG, California. Tony. Uh, Hispanic? Be more specific. Mexican? That is correct. <laughs> this is gonna get interesting really quickly. This is the most common ethnicity in Orleans Parish, Louisiana. Tony. Black? That is correct. <laughs> this is the most common ethnicity in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Tony. Italian? That's correct! <laughs> Tony sweeps the category. <laughs> so, where are we gonna go next? Let's go to Prozac Nation. Prozac Nation. Of 1909, 1929, 1949 or 1969, it's the year that the Great Depression began with the great stock market crash. Tony? Uh, 1929? That is correct. Yes. Under the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt, the U.S. combated the Great Depression with a series of programs known as this. Tony? Uh, the New Deal? That's correct. That's correct. And finally, one effort to alleviate the Great Depression was this act, which raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the federal government. Anyone? Anyone? Tony? Uh, the IRS Act? I'm sorry! <laughs> Can we? Sorry. Uh, the Securities Exchange Commission? I feel like I know this. I, <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm sorry, contestants. That would be the Holly Smooth Terra. Oh. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Okay. Now, what's that sound mean? That means <laughs> that the last two categories are worth double. What? I believe. Uh, who had the last correct response? Tony. So, Tony, where are we going now? Mexican soccer teams, I guess. Okay. For double the points, the last name of the actor who starred in Rain Man and the Mission Impossible series. Tony. Uh, Tom Cruise. I'm sorry, we wanted the last name only. Oh, really? Preston. Cruise. Thank you. There is no Mexican soccer team named Tom Cruise. There is one named Cruise. Uh. Next, this Simon and Garfunkel song begins, Let us be lovers, we'll marry our fortunes together. Tony? Mrs. Robinson. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> America! <laughs> this is the capital of the Mexican state of Jalisco. Chivas? Close, but no. Tabasco. No. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> take, a, take a stab at a Mexican city. Uh, no, it's not even worth doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm right. Go ahead. Guadalajara. Oh. And we finally go to Rivers of America. In 1884, Mark Twain wrote a book entitled Life on This River. Mississippi. That is correct. Both the, this Oregon River and a space shuttle are named for an 18th century sailing ship. Samara. Endeavor. No. Tony. Odyssey. No, Tristan, you want to ring in? I was about to guess Odyssey. No. Well, guess something else. Um, Apollo. Columbia! Oh. 
Columbia, the gem of the ocean, the home of the brave and the free. <laughs> This main eastern fighting force of the Union Army during the American Civil War was the army of this river. Tony. Tony. Potomac? That is correct! Whoa. <laughs> After this commercial break, uh, Tony advances to plant the ultimate challenge, which he won't do. Stay tuned for more of Outsmart Charles Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Outsmart Charles. This is our final round, which Tony is facing off against Charles. Now for this round, there are five categories possible. The categories are religion, geography, US history, math, and comics. Each of you will get to pick one round, and the third round will be determined at random by roll of die. Charles will pick the round first, and then Tony. Charles, pick your round. Uh, I'm going to go with U.S. history. U.S. history. Uh, give me as many correct responses, one at a time, to the following questions. Name any U.S. president. Franklin Pierce. Barack Obama. <laughs> Calvin Cooler. Ronald Reagan. John Quincy Adams. George W. Bush. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. George Bush, senior. James Buchanan. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Harry Truman. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt. Jimmy Carter. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. George Washington. Chester Allen Arthur. Nixon. Rutherford B. Hayes. <laughs> oh, I can't look at the list? Damn it. No. Um. Thomas Jefferson? Jefferson's already been named. Damn it! That'd be an incorrect response. Charles, you can name one more correct answer. James A. Garfield. All right, so that one. Charles has, is up by 200 points. Tony, it's your turn to pick a category. I'll choose comics. Really? I thought you might. I hope it's not comedians. Even his comedians are right. <clears throat> Alright, these comedians, no. <laughs> this one's, this uh, round's a little different than the last round. For this round, I am going to say the secret identity of a comic book character, and you will name the hero or villain name of that character. Uh, this is Tony's round, so he will get to go first. And uh, this one's a lot easier for me to keep track of. Alright, Tony, your first... Secret identity is Bruce Wayne. Batman. Correct. Charles, your first is Clark Kent. Superman. Correct. Tony, Peter Parker. Spider-Man. Correct. Charles, Tony Stark. Iron Man. Correct. Tony, Steve Rogers. Captain America. Correct. Charles, Bruce Banner. The Incredible Hulk. Correct. Tony, <laughs> Hal Jordan. Um, is the Green Lantern. Correct. Charles, Peter Quill. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess I'm gonna lose this round, aren't I? Uh, I'm gonna give you 
five seconds. Wolverine. That is incorrect. Uh, apparently you're not a fan of uh, recent movies. That is actually Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. And, Tony, since you get an extra question in this round now, Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson? Is it DC or Marvel? <laughs> I can't tell you that. I'll give you five more seconds. <laughs> I don't know, the Adam? That is incorrect. <laughs> Throw, sure. Is it the Flash? No, it is Deadpool. Oh, I, was, I was waiting for Dick shit. Grayson. I knew Dick Grayson. Well, if you would have gotten down there, Dick Grayson is on there. And I actually would accept three different answers for that. He has three rules. Do you just want to tell me what three answers those are? Any of you? I know what the first one is. <laughs> All right. Robin, the red, uh, the red Hood. Ooh. Yeah, the that's Red a, Hood that's also. That's the fourth one I didn't even have listed on there. But Nighthawk. Yes. Night. Yeah, Nightwing? Or Nightwing. Sorry. And uh, Batman, I also would have accepted. Oh, yeah. He was Batman for a while. Yeah. Have so proof. moving on to our third. The three choices we have are religion, geography, and math. So I'm going to roll this 12-sided die. And uh, <laughs> in that order, religion, geography, and math. All right. That's, uh, that's five to 12. That's seven. Oh, shit. It's I geography. Lost. I lost. <laughs> All right, our last category here oh, this is a geography. So this is another one where you name as many correct responses to the prompt I give you. Okay. And uh, <laughs> a reminder, Charles is up by 100 points here, and we're going to have the challenger go first on this one. So, Tony, you'll have the, the opportunity for this. It's still anyone's game here. Tony, uh -huh. name any African countries, sovereign states in the continent of Africa. Mm, Nigeria. Chad. South Africa. Algeria. Uh, Both of those are correct. Uh... Liber Liberia? Ethiopia. <laughs> Somalia? Tanzania. <sighs> Egypt? That is correct. Uganda. Mm. That is correct. seconds uh, I don't know Syria <laughs> Syria is incorrect <clears throat> Charles you can name one more Central African Republic uh... and I'm sorry Tony but you did not outsmart Charles Bent <laughs> I'm so sorry <clears throat> you did a great effort thank you so far and uh uh, by the way, uh, Tony's final score for the round is 1885. He had 85 points in the challenger round and 1800 in this round. That, that score will go onto the leaderboard, and we'll see if you can make it onto our tournament of champions. Let's see, I won the first round. Now shake hands, you 